Hi guys, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming and welcome back to our Reassembly Series Episode 8. Today we have, I have an exciting day today, actually I'm pretty excited. Um, but you know, I gotta tell you, my week has been completely messed up, our schedule, and yes, I do kind of follow a schedule for my programming for my channel. Unfortunately, um, due to the unexpected explosion of the TerraTech save game, weren't able to do TerraTech this week. And there was another incident with another thing I was going to do today, or this week, where it kind of fell through. So I've been doing a lot of reassembly this week. And, you know, we're kind of becoming the reassembly, reassembly channel. And I just want to remind everybody we do a lots of games on this channel. <laughs> not just reassembly. I love doing reassembly, and we're going to do reassembly for a long, long, long time, but not every week is going to be every day, just so everybody knows. I would love to, but I, I I like to do lots of different things, and I also work, too, as well, so I can only do one video a day, and I try to mix it up and do different things. Anyway, so today, what I have planned, first off, um, I am working really hard to try and keep up with all of the comments that you guys are offering on the channel on things that we're doing and I want to do a few of the things that you guys suggest that makes sense um so I also want to give you guys credit and shout outs for it but just if I miss something that you've said or I haven't done something that you wanted me to do it may not have been something that works with the channel or works with this particular playthrough um but you know just keep suggesting things certainly something's going to come up that we're gonna that we're definitely going to incorporate so but just not everything's going to work right but it, we're going to start out with sorry i'm talking and i'm using my hands and using gestures and of course you guys can't see that because i don't have a video camera on but anyway so first off one of the things that and I apologize if I if I mess up your name, Johans, Johans Hens, or Johans, or Johans, I think is what it is. I think it's German. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sorry if it's wrong. But anyway, he suggested or reminded me that we should put harvesters on the freighter. It totally makes sense because our freighter is going to be doing a lot of mining, right? And the harvester, of course, increases the range at which you can mine, which is fantastic. You want to kind of have these on the outside of your ship. Uh, in my experience, anyway, if, if I've got them buried in, in here or something, and I don't think they're going to do any good. I think they've got to be out. I could be wrong, and if I'm wrong, like, I don't know, that I kind of like that. We could test it. Let's let's test it. Why not? So, okay, we're going to take the Space Roach for a spin here. Just give me a sec. Space Roach. Um, Shuff Dragon also had mentioned that we should, or uh, reminded me gently, <laughs> uh, that we should put Harvesters on the roach as well because that makes sense uh, oh hopefully we don't get attacked um i guess we should have done that in an area where we knew there was lots of stuff to harvest because uh I, we're this we're actually in a pretty hostile area and this is not the best ship to be flying oh here we go perfect so let's see if we can get oh yeah we've got pretty good range oh yeah the harvesters i think are doing their job let's see here oh yeah see we're yeah we're getting them at mm, pretty good range I don't know, we should, uh, let's see what happens, well, no, that seems to be working, but let's see what happens when we put them on the outside, like, I'm just curious, uh, like, if we put them on the outside, will, will they be more effective, I don't know, I mean, it looks good either way, we could also have them in there, I don't know, it looks good either way, but, uh, my preference is to have, I guess it doesn't really matter, if they get shot off, big deal, right? big deal and also keep in mind with these harvesters on look at that we've increased our total max cargo space to 4070 r <gasps> holy crapola okay <laughs> okay so that's on the outside let's see if uh probably probably the same so uh, i don't know it might be a little bit better to have them on the outside i seem to be uh, uh oh ah turn uh, Jesus, this thing does not turn well. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely uh, get some pretty good range with it on the outside, but I don't know. I, I can't really tell a difference. If anybody knows more about that, great. But I, I, my opinion is that it looks like it's pretty much the same. So let's, uh, hmm. I'm also thinking this ship desperately needs a little bit more turning speed because... Um, yeah, it's not turning very fast at all. Let's let's do this. Let's add some big thrusters just on the outside there as well. That should that should actually or even better. Let's do it 
like that. That, I think that'll work really well. And then we'll do these on the inside. Yeah, and then we'll just give that a quick test and then we'll go back to what we were gonna do today. So, all right. Yeah, see, okay, so watch, watch, we're gonna, oh, wait, oh, <laughs> well, actually, we can defend ourselves pretty well, eh? Um, so watch what happens when I turn. So when I go like this, oh, it is activating. Yeah, it's activating. That's it. It's certainly better than what it was. Oh, nice. <laughs> huh. Well, ship isn't so bad, is it? <laughs> that, uh, yeah, actually, it's not so bad. What kind of weapons do we have on here again? All right, we got a couple of the uh, auto cannons and some drones and the uh, railgun. It's it's not bad. And with that harvester, wow! Look at this! Look at how much stuff we got already. That's great. Um, unfor it doesn't have a factory on it, so we we'd have to uh, we'd have to sell our goodies or make our ship another ship with a factory again in order to. Uh, yeah. Anyway, okay, cool. So, thank you very much, Johans. I think it's Johans. I think. Um, and I apologize if it's not German. I'm, I, I don't know. But uh, thank you very much for reminding me that we needed harvesters on the freighter. And again, of course, thank you, Chef Dragon. You're always uh, astute in these matters. Okay, so let's go. Whoops, I always do that. We are gonna go, and we're gonna also we're gonna build a couple ships. Um, easy ships, so it's not it's, it shouldn't take that long. I mean, these you know how these things become agendas. Um, but we want to build two, three ships, and I think we'll do them. You know, I think maybe we'll do two today. Um, I want to build a very specific set of three ships. I want to build a fighter, just a fighter that is kind of a small intercepting fighter. Very, very, very light, uh, very, very, very maneuverable, and uh, very small weapons that just pesky and super, super, super cheap. Um, then we're also going to build another ship that is a fighter bomber at the suggestion of... Um, sorry, I'm just looking at my sheet here. David, David Rice. Yes, David, you had suggested that we build a fighter bomber. I love the idea. It reminds me of old Wing Commander and the bombers, right? Do you remember the bomber craft? And even, uh, oh, there was another game. Like, uh, if you think about uh, back in the, well, okay, TIE Fighter. You know, like, TIE, there was a TIE Bomber, right? The TIE Bomber was a very specific, it was a little bit heavier, and it shot torpedoes. And it's the same with the uh, the B-Wings. The B-Wings in Star Wars also shot torpedoes. Like, they're a heavier fighter. So, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do, I think we'll do the fighter first. And I already have a name picked out for the fighter. And then uh, uh, the third ship I'm going to save for the next episode. I'm not even going to talk about it right now because uh, I, I have to think about it a little bit more. But we're going to build a fighter and a fighter bomber. And we may not have all the weapons we need to be able to do this, but I don't know. So the bomber, of course, just like Wing Commander, right? Wing Commander, you had this a beefy ship. It did have shields, but I think the sh Well, I don't know. Shields might slow it down too much, although this ship wouldn't be a fast-moving ship, period. Like, it would be... Oh... So that would give it two torps if we did that. See, look at how, like, the, putting the shield in there, all of a sudden that ship is uh, pretty damn big. And make it, it would make it quite bulky. So, you know, we've got to be careful with that. Now, what can we do to kind of... So, I, I don't want to add too many hull pieces, just like... Oh, that might work, actually. Oh, let's see. No. <laughs> uh, oh, I know, I know, I know. So if we do, I think that'll work. That might work. No, that won't work. <laughs> okay, road. Whoop. See, here we go again. You, you get an idea in your head and you, oh, actually, why don't we try and figure it out on, oh, see, that works. Yeah. Problem is it probably won't fit. It does fit. Oh, it's almost like I planned it that way. Oh, is that even? I don't think that's even. No, no, it's not quite even. Oh, it was so close. Oh, okay. Oh, bummer. Ah, oh, okay. Of course, we, we can do it the old, you know, trapezoid thing. But I'm trying to, you know, I want to find another, an alternative way to doing the trapezoid thing. There's got to be another way that we can make this single connector point connect to these two pieces. And, you know, just something different, right? Oh, I kind of like that. It kind of looks like a pod racer. We do it 
kind of like that. Um, and of course, we could just, you know, in the hopes of saving some time, do it like that. And then it's, oh, that looks kind of cool. Now, it doesn't really look bug-like. That's, that's the only thing. We need to make sure that we are sticking with our theme because it's so, so, so important. At least it is to me. Okay, so it's going to have one heavy rear thruster and it's going to have a couple. Oh, yeah, that, that might work. Couple medium thrusters like that, I guess. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I'm probably not going to put enough thrusters on this thing. I guess does it need too many big thrusters? That's the thing. It, like, there we go. Now that'll really increase its. Okay, so actually we're going to remove that because we need to add some flair. All of our ships need to look like they were designed like a crazy by a crazy insect. <laughs> uh, okay uh, mm, Okay, so it's got torpedoes It's got to have some kind of dog fighting weapon A defense cannon No A bigger Dog fighting weapon Like The projectors The projectors seem to be the natural choice At least that's what I would think I don't know We could We could sneak them In between the torpedo Like that yeah, that looks kind of cool, eh? So uh, we're building a fighter. So you know what? I mean, it is, it's is—it's a bomber. So it's, these are heavy, heavy torpedoes. And actually, I have a, I wonder. Okay, so you'll notice how the torpedoes, if we place them like that, we only get one torpedo. Right? So, and I can take that off. I, I don't, I can't actually attach it to anything. Okay, that's, okay, that's fine. So now the question is, so right now, our total mass is 205, which is actually pretty darn heavy. And it's because of this shield. This shield makes all the difference. If we took off this shield, this would be a pretty fast-moving fast ship. But because it's a bomber, I think it needs to be heavier. So, uh, okay, so now if it's 205, so if I have two torpedoes, if I... Eh, so, ah, hold on. If I place this torpedo on so that it has two launchers, the question is, is it heavier? It is. Okay, but... Well, it's heavier by 13, right? So, ah, oh, oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> and I've got too much crap lying around again. Clean your room. Okay. Um, so let's, uh, hold on, let's put that back on and just double check that. So 205 with one torpedo. And then if we put it on so that there was two torpedoes there, it would make it 218. Uh, now, hmm, you know, I don't know. I don't know. It's 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 hard to say. You know what 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 should we do here? I think I think if we made I mean adding the extra little bit of weight might really tip the scale, but I I don't think so. That way we have two. Oh right. Okay. So oh the plasma cannon will still fit in there. Oh isn't that sneaky? Aha! That's brilliant. Brilliant. Okay, we need to really make this... Okay, so actually we are going to... Uh, no, we're going to keep that. Now we need to add a little bit of flair, and unfortunately we have to do it, and that's going to add mass. <laughs> uh, adding mass to all of our ships because we need to make them look cool. You guys are like, God, why do you have to do that? But it's important. Okay, because uh, right now it looks a little too, I don't know, earth... You know, earthy. You know, like like part of the Earth Federation or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. You pick your your Earth Earth faction. If that's what it looks like. So we need to make it look a little bug like. And these are always the way to go. These little hull pieces. And we it doesn't have to be super fancy. I don't know. Like that's probably good enough. I I don't know. I think that looks pretty good. What do you guys think? I don't know. You guys can't respond to me. So haha. <laughs> I guess uh, I guess I have to make I make the call on this, right? Okay, so C V M, awesome. Yeah, and it doesn't matter that it's a little wider because um, the shield is gonna. I mean, look, that shield covers this whole area. It's huge. So I I don't know. I'll throw some thrusters on here and hope that um, the thrusters that we put on here are going to be enough we don't want to add like we don't want to add any more weight to this thing because oh we forgot one very 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 extremely important thing and actually we're going to do a couple things so uh first off we need energy this thing will not operate without energy so there we go 
We have power. Now, the other thing I want to do is... Sorry, guys, I had to pause it to go look. It was Transversal Gaming that had suggested that we add a layer of armor around key components. Now, I don't want to go crazy with this. This is a heavier ship. Like, for a fighter, like, it, this would be pretty heavy for a fighter. I mean, it's got torpedoes on it. I mean, that's pretty heavy. And two plasma guns, so it's pretty heavy. So I don't want to go too crazy, but it is a heavier ship. So having a little bit of armor, I think, is a good plan. Um, and, of course, uh, we want to protect our core, which is right here. And actually, what we could do is put the energy on the... Yeah, I think we'll put the energy behind that. So, you know, at least, you know, there is a chance, however unlikely, that if somebody gets through the shield and hits the back piece, they have to go at least through one other piece to get to the core. And of course, they have to go through the shield part, as well as a couple thrusters and another hull piece in order to get the other direction. So... Uh, right. So we're just going to add some shielding to that, or an exoskeleton, as it was stated, uh, that to just give that extra little bit of protection. And if we're going to do that, we need to make sure that, of course, we're adding some cool flavor to as well. And one more piece. Uh... I really like the trapezoid pieces. You can just... The designs are, are so cool. I, I just really like the designs. Uh. Yeah, it looks a little bit more tickish. You know what I mean? Like, like, like scorpionish. Like, these are almost like claws. And then there's, like, the head and the eye. And then, I don't know, we could do... Uh... Ooh, really? Um, do I want... No, the fighters don't shouldn't get drone launchers, I don't think. I, I don't know. I don't know. We could put we could put a couple drone launchers in here. Yeah, that, these really add mass, too. Uh, 11, so the same as a torpedo, essentially. A little bit less than a torpedo. The mass is 417. It's actually quite heavy. Whoops. Zed. Um, so I'm actually going to take the drones off for now. We'll see what it's like without... See how maneuverable it is without it, right? And um, we'll do one... Oh. Okay, now we can't have that center thruster. I guess it doesn't matter. We could do... Okay, hold on. Uh, this gives us through 100k in thrust. These give us 25k. So it, these are four times more powerful. Wow. Uh, and the mass is 12, and the mass is 3. So the larger engines are definitely more efficient, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think I think they need I think they need lots of rear thrust, and then for the rest of them, yeah, the the small ones are 10k thrust, but they're only one mass, so that's pretty awesome. I don't know. Um, so we'll add a couple, just two more of these medium-sized thrusters in the most effective spots, which I think would be higher up or lower down, and. This would be useless. I think uh, I think up higher, I think, is the way to go. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's the way to go. Okay, so we'll add another one. Whoops. Add another one down here. And a couple more little thrusters just kind of scattered around. They're pretty light, so I'm not as worried about the consequences of adding a few more of those. Uh, I guess I could use my alt drag. So alt drag and... Uh, do another couple on the side. It is a quite quite a heavy ship. I'm actually surprised at how heavy this thing is. Um, but I guess we're about to find out uh, how effective it. It looks cool. It it looks. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I know you guys are probably thinking the same thing. It doesn't quite look right here. Hmm. Okay, hold on. Not totally happy with just just how that looks. Uh, blast. I guess we could... Oh, yeah, there we go. That's what we need to do. For flavor. Uh, I don't know. What about... Hmm. Or... Huh. Okay, uh... Sorry, guys. I'm trying to... There. I, I, think, I think I'm pretty good with that. See... V, M, and then 
rotate that around and oops I guess I got to take that piece off it just gives it a little bit the sh I like the shape better it just looks a little bit more uh, scorpion like I think maybe I don't know scorpion without the tail a little bit more yeah because these look like the scorpion like the uh, the jaws in a scorpion right and this kind of looked like the claws and then it kind of looks like a tail but it's really small I don't know we'll give it a shot okay so there we go uh, should hit be it's a pretty heavy hitter a pretty heavy hitter and we should have the power to run all that so let's let's give this sh oh we have to name it oh I never even thought of the name yeah I think you know what we're just gonna go with tick because I can I vision I envision that uh, the ticks launch the ticks Launch the ticks and attack the enemy. Can't, I can totally picture it. So I think we're going to go with tick. I, I had some other ideas like tick scroff and, and whatever. But I think the tick is, the tick is, we're just stay pure, right? If you stay pure, everything's usually pretty good. So good. Let's uh, save. And, um, oh, sh shoot. No, that's right. Okay, so we have the tick. All right, let's, uh, let's give the sucker a shot. Oh, he's tiny. Okay. Ooh. Uh, okay. Finish that shield off. Ooh. Um, how ex Oh, we didn't even look at how expensive he was. I guess we'll have to look at that in a second. Now, they're going to be more expensive than a regular fighter to launch. Um, just because, you know, they're more than just... They're a bomber, right? So, he's not quite as maneuverable as I was hoping, but he's, he's, he's a bomber. Okay, so let's hold on. <laughs> let's test it out. Of course, I'm not going to be able. Woo! Okay, so um, oh geez, that shield went down fast. But that guy was shooting really fast. Okay. Uh, oh, we do not want to die right now either, because look at all the resources we have. So <laughs> that's not good. Uh, is there a? Oh, sorry, I'm not paying attention. I'm actually looking at the map right now. Um, I like it. I like it. I think it. It's actually. Not a terrible design. He he moves okay. He is quite heavy, but he he's he's a bomber, right? So totally makes sense. And I wonder maybe we should get rid of those little wingy things in the back. What do you think? I, I think we do that. Let's let's do that. Let's get rid of this. Yeah. See what that looks like without it. I think that might and it'll reduce some of the weight. So what does this thing weigh? 391. Okay, so let's try that. Save. Yeah, it it, it already feels better. And he looks he looks more like a like a little alien insect dude. I like it. Okay. Ooh, look at those little plasmas, eh? And his energy is good. I can launch these all day long and never worry. Whoa! Uh, that doesn't mean I can drive better. <laughs> awesome. I love it. Awesome. Okay, so now we have the ticks. Sorry, I keep hitting the escape button. Okay, now let's go work on one more really quick here. Um... This is going to be a super simple ship, not unlike this one right here. So these are the medium thruster? Yeah, these are the medium thrusters. Okay, so let's, uh, so this guy is going to be our intercept fighter. So I want him to have, you know, a couple auto cannons, like three or four auto cannons. We'll just bulk them right together. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and of course, some plasma projectors. How much does that weigh? 172. Okay, so yeah, that's about the limit. Now he's not gonna have a shield. He's 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 a fast firing, quick little dude. Okay, so we're gonna oops, we're gonna put. Oh damn it. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put uh, the core in here, kind of in like that, and then we put that on there. And then we put our generator right there. There, that's that's essentially the core of the ship which is awesome, super, super fast. And uh, so super fast. So we want some flare. Uh, okay, how about we just do four legs on this one? Okay, so we'll do one doing going that direction, one going that direction. No, no, there we go. And like, that. <laughs> you guys must think I am such a geek. And you know what? Maybe I am. I don't know. I have fun though. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. CB. 
Awesome. Flip. And stick that on there. Yeah. And then go like that. Oh, can you put Oh, it looks like you can you can actually connect things to the front of that gun, but and I think we tried that before, but it didn't work. There we go. So nothing special. Like I said, we want him pretty light. Uh, except we will want to put just a piece of protection. Or, you know what? I, I don't think he gets an exoskeleton. He, he doesn't get an exoskeleton. Ah, uh, yeah, no, we've got to do it. He's, he's not going to have a shield. He needs something to protect him, right? Protect his, his soft under bits here, which, you know, are all exposed. <laughs> pretty, pretty dramatically, too. How much is he? Oh, I can't tell how much he's going to be to build, but I don't know. Uh, I think that looks pretty good. I don't know. I think that looks pretty darn good. Yeah. Okay, so uh, poof, maybe one more piece of armor, or do we just we just throw in... I think we just throw in thrusters now. Okay, so you will probably be good with medium thrusters all round. Two in front. Two in behind. And then a couple for the side, one in the lower back, one in the front, whoops, and the side. Uh, all right, and uh, we are going to name him the Flea. I can't help it, purr. Fleeper. Okay, launch the Fleepers. Lunch sleepers. Okay, awesome. Okay, <laughs> I'm such a geek. That's okay. Anyway, uh, that looks pretty good. I like it. I like it. Um, good. Save, and let's give that a shot. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa! Whoa! No! 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 Go! 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 No! No! Needs better engines. He is not the maneuverable flea, I imagined. Okay. I lost all those resources, guys. <laughs> that stinks. Okay, so first off, yeah, we definitely need a full-sized thruster back here. We could do this. Maybe even do... Yikes. I think it'd be over... Too much? I don't know. It might be too much. Yee. I guess we could uh, do that so we've got that extra layer of protection. And then do the same or just go straight up. Yeah, we want more armor in the front because he's going to be attacking forward most of the time. Uh, so, oh, why did I do that? Okay, so let's... Okay, so we're going to do that. And maybe extra layer like so, and then a thruster, and uh, do we do big thrusters all around? I don't know, that would make him, it should make him highly maneuverable, I'm hoping. Uh, we've, he's got the power for it, there is no shortage of power, and it, it is definitely going to make him more expensive and heavier, but... 309, he's actually, I mean, he's, he's 100 less in the, he's 25% less weight than the bomber. I mean, that's substantial, right? So, okay. Uh, okay, let's give it, let's give him a shot. Okay, save. Fleeper! Ah. Okay, but he still does not feel like, okay, so here we go. Turn. Wow, that seems awfully slow. Oh, Jesus, no, ah, no, 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 no. Okay, go, 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 go. Come on, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, valiant attempt, valiant attempt, okay. Okay, so I think it's the position of the thrusters, maybe? Let's do the thrusters right on the wingtips. That might help out a lot. I mean, just having them where they are is just, it's probably not helping at all, actually. So, let's try it just, I'm just curious. Let's try it like that. Save. Okay. No, he's, he's not turning, like, 
Okay, what am I missing? Something's something's missing here. Hold on. Uh, no, that's the right direction. Okay. Uh, maybe the big ones aren't very good for for turning. I don't know. All right, it's really bizarre. Okay, let's try this one more time with some extra smaller thrusters. Oh, that seems better. That seems better. We're not going to make it because these fighters are just ripping me to pieces. Oh. <laughs> wow. Ah, no, don't head to Why are you flying? Okay, see, my cursor's over here. Why am I flying somewhere else? Come on. No. Ooh, spin. Spin. Wait, I'm still alive. I'm still alive. Ha ha, you can't kill me that easily. Close. Oh, come on. Oh. Okay, follow the cursor. Look, he's not following the cursor. Ah, oh, damn it. Really? Out of my way! Okay. <laughs> okay, this, he's not doing... He, like, honestly, look at how slow he's turning. Why? Bizarre. Okay. Weird. Okay, so let's try... So, whoops. Let's try something else here. So... Huh. Is it, is it the weight? Like, is it really that heavy? I, maybe it's... Maybe it's really that heavy. Let's, let's try and get rid of that. Try that. Exit. Save. Whoa! That! Leave me alone! I could be firing at these guys. <laughs> oh! Wait! Oh, there's one of my bombers! Awesome! One of my bombers has spawned already. That's awesome. One of the ticks. Actually, it's quite a bit of fire firepower from these guys. You know, maybe it's, maybe it's too much. I don't know. That's what's weighing him down so much. Yes, I know I died. That's okay. <laughs> ah! Ah! Okay. Do we? Uh, I don't know. We could add a whole bunch of little thrusters as well. You know, I don't know. I I don't know if these. Ri oh, right. If we add. I think it was Shuff Dragon that mentioned this one day that we add thrusters in the media on the insides like this, and I think we tried it and we didn't. I didn't feel like it did much, but l let's give it another shot. All right. I really want this thing to be maneuverable. That's really important. I mean, if it's that small, it has to be maneuverable, right? Okay, so let's try it again. And thrusters are growing in. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Now I'm feeling like now it's a little better. It's still. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Oh, look at these parts flying all over the place. Ah! Oh, okay, bad guy? No. Oh, what are you? You're friendly. I don't remember you. You do not look like you're part of the clan. And actually, even this fighter doesn't look like he's part of the clan anymore. He's small, though. He's, he's pretty maneuverable. I think we'll go with him. He's the Fleeper. If you guys have a better idea on how to improve his maneuverability, but I think it's pretty good, actually. It's not bad. Let's see if we can uh, do some dogfighting here. Woo! <laughs> awesome. Super fun. Definitely, it's a different game. Oh. Well, if you have no guns, I can kill you. Oh, see? And watch, there's so much force. <laughs> so much momentum. I get momentum from uh, shooting. So I could actually use the guns to fly the opposite direction. So it's a good escape tacti tactic, too. So that plus the reverse engine. Look at that. Holy, ah! Whoops. Oh, <laughs> good thing I had the plant, because I think if I didn't hit the plant, that would have hurt. Okay, let's try that one more time. High speed, escape! dun dun, dun. Oh, ow. It's actually pretty durable. I'm pretty impressed. Okay, awesome. It looks as though we have spent all of our time just building ships today, and I apologize for that. Next time, I promise we will do some more exploration and gathering of points and unlocking new parts. But this episode, we had we had to get this out of the way, right? You know, it was the elephant in the room. We didn't have fighters, and we didn't have a fighter bomber. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the episode, guys. Take care. <laughs> oh. Balls. Ah, no, no, why are you... Oh, what's going on? Why did I spawn there? That's weird. <laughs> no, what is going on? Where's... Why am I spawning here? Uh, this is 
is a problem. No, we don't want to spawn here. Go, 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 go.